Do you want to learn the fastest and easiest way to add pockets to literally any project, even if you're brand new to sewing? If so, good, you're in the right place. Because <laughs> in this video, I'm going to show you how to sew a patch pocket step by step. And I know so many projects that we make, like it's kind of overwhelming or daunting to add pockets to them, but I promise you this is going to be so easy. You're going to start adding pockets to everything. <laughs> okay. So really quick. Hi, my name's Abby and I'm on a mission to help absolute beginners actually wear clothing that they've made. So if that sounds like you, then be sure to subscribe below. And if you're still feeling a little bit nervous about your sewing machine, I've even put my five steps to sewing confidence down below, absolutely free, just to help you figure out how to use this thing confidently. I promise it will make all your future sewing projects much easier. Okay, now that that's out of the way, let's be clear about what we're actually going to be making or what kind of pocket this is. So I'm sure you've seen a patch pocket. They are on the back of jeans or the front of overall dresses like this or pockets, t-shirt pockets are really cute. This is a patch pocket and all it is is a piece of fabric that we're going to sew onto the face or the front of our projects. Okay, really that's all we're gonna do. But let's break it down and see what the actual steps of this are. Now the first thing you need to do is decide what shape pocket you want. Like I mentioned, they, you see these everywhere. So go through your closet, look at clothing you already own, look at reference photos online, whatever you wanna do, but decide on the shape of pocket you wanna add to your project. Then once you've decided, you're gonna to wanna to trace that out on paper. Now for my pocket, I am going to be recreating the pocket that I have here on this overall dress because I wanna make the exact same pocket on my next overall dress. So I'm just going to measure this and draw it on paper. And this can be a great way to do your patch pockets if you're not sure, is just to trace one that you already have and already like. Now you can trace this on regular paper or on something a little bit thicker like cardstock if you're going to be making lots of the same shaped pocket. Once you're finished tracing, be sure to cut this shape out. Now that you've decided the shape of your pocket and you've drawn it on paper, the next thing we need to do is to trace the shape onto the fabric that you're going to use to make the pocket. Once you've traced this, we're going to add our seam allowance and all this means is we're going to add or measure out another centimeter around the entire project easy peasy okay so now that you have your fabric pocket and you've added your seam allowance it's time to cut this pocket out and once you cut this out we are going to edge stitch around the entire pocket this will make sure that nothing frays or comes undone and your pocket doesn't unravel in the future after washing and wearing it. Because that would be really terrible. <laughs> so let's avoid that. Edge stitch your project. And edge stitching is really easy. It's just taking a zigzag stitch around the entire edge of your project. Now, if the zigzag stitch is throwing you off for a little or you're not quite sure how to do it, check out this video here. And now that your project is edge stitched, we are going to iron in that seam allowance. So go around all the sides of your pocket and iron this down. This will give you your pocket nice finished edges all the way around. It's already starting to look like a pocket. See how quick and easy this is? You can really pop these out in like half an hour to an hour once you start getting really good at this. <laughs> Now that we've ironed it, we need to sew down the side that's going to be our opening. So look at your pocket and decide which side is the opening. And then we are going to just top stitch right along this edge to hold that seam allowance down and inside of our pocket. Step, unfold the seam allowances from the other sides when you sew this. The only side that should be folded is the side for your pocket opening. Everything else should be laid flat. This will ensure that your stitching ends where you backstitch, it's a little bit messy, 
will be hidden inside the seam allowance when we actually sew this pocket on. Next, we're gonna place the pocket on the right side of our project. Now this can be the front if it's like a t-shirt, maybe the back if you're doing jeans. Doesn't matter which side, you just want it on the outside, the part that people are going to see, okay? Don't sew your pocket on the inside. Unless you want a hidden pocket, which could be really cool. <laughs> okay, so now that you've figured out where to put your pocket, the really important thing to remember here, note, <laughs> is that you really want to make sure that if you're doing multiple pockets, that everything is lined up nice and neat. So you might need to measure and check this a couple times, pin the pocket on, and actually hold it up to yourself and make sure everything looks right. Okay, because this is the crucial part, making sure it's in the right place. Okay, once you are 100% sure that you have it in the right place, we are going to stitch around all the sides, but not the opening. If you sew down the opening, it's not a pocket anymore. It's just a patch. <laughs> okay, so just starting on one side of the opening, do your regular stitch, back stitch, come forward, stitch around all the sides. And voila, you have a beautiful patch pocket. Now, just to recap, the steps for sewing a patch pocket are as follows. You are going to decide on the shape that you want, trace that shape on paper, draw it on your fabric and add the seam allowance, cut it out and edge stitch all the edges, iron the seam allowance in, sew down the opening, place your pocket, and then sew it in place. Okay? You can just repeat these steps as many times as you need to add patch pockets to anything. And I hope that you do practice this. Like if you need a project, you can check out this overall dress that I made. Inside of this, we add patch pockets. So check that out here or at the end of the video. If you would like even more tips and tricks on how to make a patch pocket, more professional, easier, you just want more info on this, I made a second video showing all the extra tips and tricks that I thought might be just a little too overwhelming for this video. So if you'd like to check that out, it's here for you as well. And if you have any questions about this or any other sewing projects, let me know in the comments below. I just absolutely cannot wait for you to actually start wearing clothes you've made. And if I can help you do that, I would be thrilled. So, no matter what you decide to do after this, happy sewing.